Oh, yes, I know that you know how to make meat pie. But trust me, there is something you would learn from this recipe. And in case you don't know how to make it with a local oven, then that is the star of this video. For someone who likes meat pie, would love to make it, but for the sake of not having a conventional oven, this is another plus for you, okay? In the bowl, add some all-purpose flour, corn flour, salt, sugar, and nutmeg. You must add nutmeg. And that's corn flour you must if you need extra crunch of your meat pie, okay? I'm sure you are already learning something different from <laughs> the recipe you always know. So add your butter, make sure that your hands are clean, and then begin to rubbing your butter into the flour make sure you do that romantically okay yeah and by the time you get this texture when it looks like crumbs or you can fold it like you can press it together you press it and it holds together then you know that you have it okay the butter shouldn't be too much else it would start melting even before you're done kneading and the dough would become too oily and will start breaking it shouldn't also be too little else your dough will become strong and not crunchy and not soft and that's not what you want beat some egg in cold water note egg is optional here you can make two with just cold water add it into the mixture to form the dough if the consistency of the dough is not what you need you can add more cold water or cold milk just make sure whatever you are using is cold i mean whatever liquid you're using is cold then transfer it on your neat surface please make sure your surface for kneading this is neat dust it with the flour and then begin to fold this in out just knead it smoothly romantically so that you don't stress the dough all we just want here is to get a very smooth dough not hard dough at this point this is okay and i didn't just wrap this in a clean thing and then send it to the fridge immediately no i had to cut out the portions that I would be, I mean, the pie portions. I portioned them and then put it straight in the bowl and then send it to the fridge. I didn't even cover it with any clean thing. It's not a must that you must do that, okay? I got about 14 to 15 pieces. Now let's make um, the filling for this meat pie. You see what I was trying to show you there? I bought some Irish potato and better part of it was actually spoiled. Like it didn't give me what I want, but that's okay. So I bought the beef to mix it myself. I won't lie to you. Doing this, mixing this meat with this is very stressful. Number one is that Please, kindly don't try this if you don't have the energy because your arms are going to ache and better part of that meat will be stuck in the teeth of that grinder which will take you time to pull them out especially if the knot of that of yours cannot be losing like mine, okay? So heat up the oil, add salt for seasoning, onion, um, time and then pour in the minced meat and begin to fry. Add some garlic powder, curry powder, add nutmeg, oh please add nutmeg, and then chili pepper. The last thing I added was grinded chili pepper or ground chili pepper, okay? Stir it and then add some water, add your seasoning cube. I just added one cube of seasoning cube okay mm -hmm. and then cover it to cook that meat has to cook after some minutes i added the irish potato stir it added the carrots at this point i noticed that um this was obviously 
bigger than this frying pan. I just added one more seasoning cube and gave it a good stir. I had to change to using tablespoons so I can get more coordinated stirring and not skip messing my burner. Tasted for salt and it was very okay. Wow, this tastes so good. It's time to add corn flour for a better consistency, okay? You could feel from the screen how delicious this feeling is already. And now look at the consistency, guys. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Mmm. So sweet, so moist, and yeah, this is done. Now the cocoa part of this recipe, <laughs> of this video, is this local method of baking. Mm -hmm. So in your pan, add your sand and put some stones if need be, so that this baking pan can rest on it. And then put it to start heating while you come over here to begin to, you know, roll your pie okay so just getting the baking pan ready by oiling it and then dosing it with some flour and then cut it set also did same thing not really exactly same thing but dusted my tray where i'm going to be transferring the meat pie and yes i brought this out from the fridge after like one hour okay so just try and fold this in now watch me i'm going to do three shapes here yeah first one would be you know using the normal cutter the conventional cutter that you know mm -hmm. i'll just make two with the conventional cutter then i'll make another two without the cutter so that if you don't have a cutter you know that you can actually use your hand okay and then i'll make another two um a kind of double pie yes without a cutter but it's going to be a double pie okay so after that i would do the rest of the camera because of time guys okay if you are still watching up to this moment it shows you're finding value from this video please kindly give me a thumbs up i mean hit the like or the thumb up icon on this video to like this video please kindly share this video with your family and friends share it so that someone can just learn that he or she must not wait until he or she has you know a conventional oven to make a very delicious meat pie this is something that they sell at one five yes they sell this size of meat pie for one five in gap supermarket where i stay mm. So after making this, I'm going to stock it up in the freezer and eat it as I want, okay? So why don't you do the same? Mm. You can imagine how much of meat pie that I'm making here if I was to be selling this. And who says you cannot make this and sell it? You actually can, okay? It's a smaller one. All right, so done with that. You saw how beautiful it was cutting it with the cutter, right? Okay, now this is the two in one or two layer pie that i made mention of and you have to use a small dough yes because it's double so the dough is not the same size with the one that i just finished using um the pie the pie cutter to cut so this has to be smaller and then you need it to be a bit flatter i mean the thickness the cm should be like one to two cm because you're doubling it, okay? You can use whatever you want to cut it out. Just make sure it's round or square, depending on the shape you want. So I cut the first one, and then this is the second one. Guys, you see this feeling? It was really delicious. I feel like making white rice, actually, <laughs> to use on it. Okay, so you have to um, egg wash the edges so that they can glue together, but not um, much of the egg, okay? Yes, yeah, so this is what I mean by double pie. You see how it looks? Yeah, who says you cannot play around your meat pie process or making? You can just be creative and do anything you want. So I did another one 
that's two of this two of the other one and um, I'm going to do two more and then do the rest of the camera so I can save time please like this video if you've not liked it already like this video this video gave me wahala I mean all the recordings I did was over one hour plus editing with this video as I'm and I'm talking to you it gave me stress please just like this video for me uh -huh. the other one I did was this shape and I had to use a wider circle plates or shape so that it will be a bit wider because I'm using my hand to fold it rather than the cutter so it doesn't get if you use the if I had used this other round plate that I used for the double pie it would be small you notice that the other saucer was a bit wider than this other plate okay so yeah it's just for you to play around this and know what each shape can give you this is almost the same size in length and width with the pie cutter so i made another one and that will be it for now Can also use your hand to press in you know the the two edges if you don't want to use fake you see a uh, beautiful pies all right so it is time to set them into the local oven <laughs> the start of this video so i was actually trying to manage space here this thing oh my goodness because of the those round ones it was not easy to really manage the, the, the space, but I had to. So some had to rest on the other. Then you poke it if you want. You may not, it's not a must to poke it. After that, you do some egg washing so that it can come out looking crystal golden, okay? And yes, this oven, <laughs> this uh, millennium oven has heated for like 40 minutes, yeah. And then I transfer this. So this in. is the remaining one, and I use the cutter all through except for this. This was the last um, pieces from the cutout, so I just had to fold it, and that's why it's rough like this. So continued with egg washing on the remaining pies, and after that. I kept it aside while I was waiting for the other one to get done. If this can enter your fridge, you can as well set it into the fridge or possibly keep it anywhere that is cool so that the butter doesn't keep melting. So opened it the first time, it wasn't completely done. Covered it again, opened the second time and it was done. Look at this goodness. Can't you see how you're malicious this looks? Does it really look like something you baked without the conventional oven, guys? Nope. Now who you tell go no, okay? So yeah, guys, I'm not gonna say anything. No. Just like this video and go and try this recipe, okay? So just to continue with the second one, I oiled the um, baking, baking pan, um, dusted it with the flour, and then began to introduce the second one. Now, this was about eight or so, and the space was really something stressful. Look, it was just remaining two. I didn't know what to do. And I can't bake again because this actually took time, over one hour to bake because it's not, you know, the conventional oven that we're baking boats up and bottom, I mean. So, um, gas is no longer one naira. I had to dump some on top of each other. After all, I made the chop them, I know they sell them, okay? <laughs> and yes, after one hour, 20 minutes, I came back to remove them and they were looking good. If you're baking with normal oven, please, you cannot leave that in there till one hour, 20 minutes, so it will just get burnt. <laughs>
Okay, but this is the perfect time for this if you're baking with local oven. And guys, ew, ew. You see this meat pie? Oh, I don't know what to tell you. Look at me blushing over my meat pies now. Uh -uh. You know why? Because this has been for how many years? I did meat pie the first time in 2014. And it was with the conventional home. It was very ambitious. You wouldn't even know it was my first time. And then this is the second time after how many years. And I'm doing it with a local oven. And it's coming out this beautiful, this yummy. Ah, you needed to test this. And this one is not capping. It's not because I'm the one that did it. I'm just telling you the cocoa. Ah, I had someone that was around to taste this. And the person was like, wow, there's nothing different with this. This and what I, I used to eat from carbs. No difference. Oh my goodness. And I had to cool this down. Like I had to step it down with my yogurt. Have you learned how to make yogurt from my yogurt recipe on this channel? If no, just rush and go and look for it. Now something where they give you for free. My yogurt is one of the best yogurts you can ever have a taste of. Ah, this yogurt... Mm. let me not go there this video is not for you girl. but please give this video a thumbs up okay so I, this is where we'll draw the curtain i hope you learned something bye bye